Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your boy Rocket Four Five Six J, bringing you a new Let's Play, which is Lego Harry Potter. Um, no, I don't want to start the software update. No, cancel. Okay, just start software. So yes, I'm gonna be doing a Let's Play on. The Lego Harry Potter um, collection, which I literally just got today. I didn't know that um, I was actually going to get it. But um, yeah, so we basically have a choice from Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4, Lego Harry Potter years 5 through 7. Obviously, we're going to be doing Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4. Don't worry, I will still be doing my Mario Odyssey, um, Super Mario Odyssey Let's Play. But yeah, we're going to be doing Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4. So I'm actually um, pretty excited for this Let's Play because if you didn't know, I had a previous channel before that had um, Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4 on it, but... All that stuff has gotten deleted because it's stupid let's play, but um now I'm basically redoing it in the switch on the switch. So um yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and go into new game. So I have been playing my own game by myself. So I'm just gonna be doing a new game. So yeah, I'm just gonna confirm the save the new game very long cutscene so I'll let you guys watch it so yeah remember not these doesn't have voice acting like the newer Lego games so Mr. Harry Potter. Uh, I love the um, Lego Harry Potter games. So yes, this is um, the um, Lego Harry Potter collection, which, gosh, when did this release? I think it was like October 30th, and I didn't really know about it. And I was like looking through um, Switch games, and I saw this, and I'm like, oh, I didn't know about that this thing even existed. 
So yeah, so um I just love the Lego Harry Potter games because I actually have them on the PS3, but you know, I was like, you know what? It'd be kind of cool to have them on the Switch. Yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. And no, I'm not doing a what is it? Oh, uh, ah, I'm not doing a 100% let like a 100% walk through the game. It's just gonna be me um playing the game, you know, just fiddling around with it, going through the levels. Now hold on to get up there to get that collectible but um yeah it's just gonna be me fiddling around with the levels just i guess like i said it's a oh crap um it's a let's play it's not a crap dang it come on really? all right got it Ooh, that was close like i said it's a let's play not a um walk through so don't expect any 100 percent yeah, um, when I got this game for the PS3, gosh, it was like a couple years ago now, and I, I was just playing through it, and I, I just fell, I literally fell in love with this game, and, and I honestly, like I said in the Christmas in Review um video, that I'm actually a very big Harry, uh, <coughs> sorry about that. I'm a very big Harry Potter fan, so I'll be very, I was honestly really ecstatic that they, um, got these games on the, on Nintendo Switch as a, like, a collection, which honestly, it was only, um, what was it, $50, basically, for the, um, collection, so, honestly, it's, I know it's only, like, um, ten dollars off of a nintendo game or like um like one of the more official nintendo games but you are getting um what is it you are getting um crap. you are getting um two games two whole games with this so honestly i think it's a pretty pretty cool um Come on, switches. The heck? There. All right. Um, I think it's a pretty cool um deal. And plus, you're getting. I mean, you're getting a lot of honestly for me. And plus for the um people that didn't get a chance to um play the um why is it there? Um, I don't don't say hi to Malfoy. It's your enemy. Anyway. Also, for the people that didn't get a chance to, um, play the original Lego Harry Potter games on the 360 and the PlayStation 3, and, the uh, was it on the Wii? I think it was on the Wii. Yeah, it was on the Wii. Um, get a chance to play it on those systems, they have a chance, because it is... Right now it's on Nintendo Switch, um, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. Of course, I got the Nintendo Switch version because that's the console I have. And honestly, I think if you do have a Nintendo Switch and a Xbox One, or a Nintendo Switch and an Xbox, um, not Xbox One, PS4, I think honestly you should get the Nintendo Switch version of this because you're going to be able to um, take your games anywhere with you not unlike um the ps4 version or the um what is it xbox one version so i recommend going for this version because you can take it anywhere and um yeah so that'd be that's that's the main reason you would get um the switch version should have gotten a purple, yep, purple, um, stud. So, if you didn't, um, notice on my, um, Nintendo Switch home screen, I do have Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu 
which that's actually not mine it's actually my little brother which he bought he bought that game today yeah well, he bought Le let's go pikachu and i bought this game i mean you're like you guys are probably like, you should have gotten Let's Go Pikachu. I'm like, you know what? I like, I would have had um, more fun with this game. Oh, cutscene. So shush. I mean, I know it's just blah, 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 but. I just want to get all the Harry Potter goodness. This game is just hilarious. Honestly, the humor in every Lego game is hilarious. Honestly, it's more funnier than um, the ones with voice acting. You can't really understand the ones without voice acting. And that kind of makes them funnier. Like, um, what is it? Um, I always thought this was pretty cool. And the other games that like Hagrid can like surfboard around yeah um what was it oh yeah that the um ones the Lego games with that voice acting honestly I think it's way funnier than the ones with voice acting because I don't know you kind of don't understand what they're saying and they kind of do some funny stuff so I always thought the ones with voice oh yeah that's right we need the goblin the key but i always thought the um ones with voice acting were more not as funnier as the ones without voice acting so i'm just gonna talk to this picture frame right here Yeah, I'm gonna go into this little cutscene right here. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty short one. But yeah, honestly, that kind of, um, that little cutscene kind of reminds me of the, what is it, um, gosh, what is that, right? Oh, yeah, Escape from Green Gods at Universal, which if you have not rode, that ride you really need to because it is an awesome super awesome ride that honestly everybody needs to ride it's kind of because it's kind of cool it's kind of a mix of a roller coaster with um what is it the um transformer ride system and also the um what is it kind of um, Spider-Man. So if you have not rode that ride, I really recommend it. So, yeah. All right. So we're about to we're about to um get our money from the vault. So we gotta unlock this little thing there. Doodle. Oh, my bad. There you go. Let's enter the money cutscene. The Sorcerer Stone. Alright, so we're about to get our wand. Now, so this um, level is pretty short. So. Mostly cutscenes.
The funny thing is, Harry never really got a hat. I mean, they show it in the Lego game, but he never really got a hat. Jeez, Lego humor right there. Alright, so level complete. Got two of the house crust pieces. Yeah, I don't think we got True Wizard this time around. Actually, when I um, was playing it solo, I got True Wizard, so that was pretty cool. Because I was actually taking time and like just co trying to collect as much stuff as I can. Obviously, we don't have that much time in the video, so that's why I decided not to do it for the Let's Play. Alright. Oh, so we kind of have to... We can't go back to the leaky cauldron. Let's let it go into... Once, now, once we reach the... Uh, what is it? Hogwarts. That's when I'll cut it off. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday. Well, depends on when this uploads. If it uploads on Saturday or Sunday. Or whenever you're watching this video. Could be watching it whenever, but whatever day you are on, I hope you are having a fantastic day. My day's been pretty fantastic myself. Gosh, I love the Harry Potter music. Classic Ron, he always has to mess everything up. Especially when it comes to magic. Yep. And Hermione just fixes everything up that Ron messes up. It's kind of funny. This is just a very long cutscene. Honestly. So we're going to Hogwarts. I always thought the sourcing hat looked weird, even in this game. What was that one game? That was like a Harry Potter game. It was like, um, Harry Potter Connect or something. That one was weird. Honestly, when it comes to the Harry Potter games, the Lego games are the best out of all of them, because I've played almost all of them. The Lego games are the best, because they keep to the original story. And the other games, like the other, like, especially the live action ones, they try to add stuff that wasn't there. So yeah, so that is going to be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, please smash that like button. If you are new to this channel please subscribe and if you're excited for more harry blake of harry potter goodness just please subscribe to the channel so and thanks for watching